Hey guys, this is Evan. Uh, I just have a video for you. Um, this is basically a video just to prove a point that really in the long run spending a little more dough on your knives and things like that uh, is really uh, in the long run will, will benefit you. Um, in front of me I have two um, two multi-tools. One's a Leatherman, one's a, a complete phony. Um, obviously you can probably tell the difference because of the basically the, the fit and finish you can tell are just off the bat that this is a Leatherman. You can see the inscri inscription of the Leatherman here and um, uh, inscribed in the tool. Um, and you just the, just the overall appearance you can just tell right off the bat it's a uh, good tool. With this one, uh, this one even though they are the exact and let me tell you the exact same thing you can just tell. Uh, there's, you know, obviously, um, just the, the the how shiny this one is and how dull and just kind of cheap looking this one is. That's because of the different steels that they use. This one's most likely is going to be. It might be the same steel, but this one goes the extra mile and heat treats it. Um, this one just uh, it's too expensive. The the process. Let's just put out the direct steel. No one will know a difference until they buy it and they use it, and then they're screwed because they already spent money on it. And we had the money and we're using it. Um, but going, you know, going on, you know, some tools. I'm, I'm not saying this for anything. For for the most part, a general statement is, uh, spending more money on the same exact thing will most likely benefit you because that's going to be the better of the two. By sometimes more than the others. So, you know, sometimes you have two two things. Um, one's you know a little bit more than the other. Um, sometimes they may not. Sometimes it may uh, be the same thing, or um, they might do uh, do the same. Um, get the job done the same, uh, even though they're two different brands or two different whatever. Um, but for the most part, um, just like this, um, this one may have been five bucks. This one may have been thirty. Um, some guys are gonna be like, ah, oh, it's five bucks. Why not? It's, it, it, do the same thing. Uh, I mean, you can't even barely close a thing without <laughs> the tools opening, and uh, it's just junk. Complete and utter junk. Um, so let's go on, you know, this will basically be a little review of the original Leatherman tool, which I think is just the coolest thing. Um, I'm glad I, my dad got one. And uh, because I just think it's, you know, it, it was revolutionized the, the, the scene of multi-tools. You know, these things open with a nice snap. Let's see what the junk, what this one does. It doesn't lock at all. Um, it, you know, it's just things like that, you know. That's why I say, as a general statement, um, things that cost a little more money are going to benefit you in the long run. Let's see our next tool. We have a uh, little micro precision screwdriver, flathead. Uh, long and whole, what do we know? We have a little precision screw head. That's pretty much rounded at the tip. It's not even straight. Um, it's just complete junk. Complete bull. Let's go on and we have, oh look at that, we have a flathead. Try and get that out. There we go. Pretty easy to take out, not too hard. This one's even easier. Why? Because they all open, <laughs> they all come out the same at the same time without even touching the thing. So look, we have a another another one. Oh wow, that's longer. Oh, that's a better tool. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely longer. Uh, not when the thing breaks on you. <laughs> So let's go on. So you have with this thing, you have a nice flat head. And now let's see what we have next. All right, we have a uh, can opener slash bottle opener. Notice this thing has a nice, um, nice snap. I mean, this thing just no play at all. Um, has a nice sharp edge on it, so you can go whatever your cans and, and stuff. This thing has a can opener also, but I can just tell you by the way it looks, this thing is just going to be a uh, failure. Epic failure, put on the fill blog. Anyways, let's go on to the other side. As you can see, so far this thing is just a mimic of each other. Now let's go, let's go straight to the blade, see how the blade is. See if they're open from the same side as its little copy. Yep, same side. And uh, I'll show you the differences. <laughs> this thing is just such a pain. I can't stand it. <laughs> Number one, it doesn't lock. You never want to have. That's one thing. I mean, it's just pretty much common sense. But for you who are getting into the knife knife world, never get a blade that does not lock. If a, the thing does not lock, I mean, I'm, I'm saying like this one. It doesn't necessarily lock, 
but it has some tension. It's not going to be failing on you. If this thing has no detent, has no uh, has no bar that keeps it somewhat in place, and just flops around like that, um, whether it's a dollar or five dollars or whatever, don't get it. <laughs> I mean, and as you can see, I mean, it's not even worth it. But I'll do a little test for you. I mean, I can't even get it straight to make a cut. It's just things like that you really have to be careful of because that 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 um that puts your safety in danger. That's that that's a um, good chance you're gonna cut yourself, even though the thing won't most likely won't cut. And this thing has never been sharpened, um, and with that, uh, I believe these things were made with uh, 420 high carbon steel. Um, yeah, it's not the best steel, um, but these things number one weren't that expensive, and. Uh, uh, good heat treat on a 420 high carbon is uh, really good. This hollow ground, you know, so it comes out to a nice edge and it's sharp. You know, it does the job. It's not going to sit there and fail on you. And and uh, when you're cutting up, it hits hits something on the on the on the spine, comes back and you know cuts you. Even though this thing, I would really wouldn't care if it cut me or not <laughs> because it's so blunt. Um, what if it's, you know you can get a good edge on these things? Maybe they do uh, go through the, the time, and put a good edge on them. And there it is, you know, cuts you. Uh, and you know, nice having that cut on you. Uh, wonder if that was worth the twenty-five dollars you saved. Anyways, um, this is isn't even worth it. I think you guys get the point. But um, I just turned this into a little Weatherman um, original review. These came with an awl. I actually like to see if this thing came with an awl because awls weren't too popular. Aren't really too popular multi tools um, at the time. Yep, look at that. We got an awl. A really even looks like a little pen knife actually <laughs> so um, you know as I said you just gotta watch um, especially going on going on um, you know sorry the phones are ringing I just want to see who it was hear who it was going on uh, flea markets things like that you might see, oh look, that's that's the original Leatherman. Um, maybe it's a used thing. Ah, uh, it's the original Leatherman, I can tell. Look at it, look at the shape of it. Look at how it's made. Uh, pick it up, you know. You just, But, uh, you know, as you get used, you know, start using it, <laughs> you're gonna run into problems. That's why, um, even now, buying things new, um, in my opinion, I don't want to sound, which I, I am gonna sound biased, get a Leatherman instead of a, micro, and, instead of a Gerber. Um, <laughs> Right off the bat, I mean, they're not bad tools if you can't really afford a Leatherman. Um, that, that will do the job. But you cannot beat the, the quality of a Leatherman tool. Even back when these things were first made, you can tell the quality of them. Um, this is one of the original ones, and the quality is just outstanding on these tools. But anyways, um, maybe uh, Leatherman will pay me uh, for their advertising of their tools now. <laughs> That'd be great. But uh, no kidding, all kidding aside, these things are... Um, Choose, choose the quality over the the complete BS that's on the market right now. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and um, I'll have more videos coming out. Just you know, short videos like these, um, showing you know just whatever I f whatever's on my mind today. On my mind was um, how there's so many uh, crap things out there that's trying to overtake and fool people into buying. Especially now around Christmas time, you'll be seeing a lot of these. Um, this is what led, led me into the sellers at Kohl's, and they have all these, uh, you know, Leatherman lookalikes. They look like a, um, they have one that look like a little Micra. They have one that look like, um, look like this. Of course, the newer model of it, and it just made me thinking. Yeah, I need to do a video on something like that, um, showing why not to go get get a uh, Leatherman Leatherman at Kohl's. This is what you're gonna get, and um, it might be nice and tight, but uh, then it'll eventually wear out and flop around. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you get the point that I uh, pretty much hammered in this video. The way that game closed, this stupid thing. That um, it, you know, during this time when we have uh, you know all these gifts to go to, that are people are gonna be getting. Um, spend the extra money, <laughs> and that goes for all things, uh, for, for the most part. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching. I know I've said that three times already. Uh, please, please, please subscribe to my videos. Um, you know I have plenty more coming out. Anyways, my limits almost up, so uh, everyone have a nice day. Uh, keep on watching.